Hey guys, Des here. Jenna here. So I was hoping to come back and do this high line uh, as a hero. Yeah. <laughs> um, with a crew of heroes and not, it was not in the cards today. We've got, we told you last week that the cattle are really quiet and nice. <laughs> and <laughs> most of them are. Yep. But there's uh, one wild one with two compadres. <laughs> Ringleader. That got uh, under the fence or something last week. And they're in the state section. And they are just like, they're wild, man. Um, Shane and CJ tried to get them in a couple times last week. But as soon as they, they even hear the sound of a radio and they're gone. So, we went out yesterday, we saw them, we got eyes on them, and then it's just, it's deep and dark and dirty in there where they're at. It's hard to get to a horseback or on two feet, honestly. And Des has been doing a bunch of, like, recon work to figure out when they're coming down for to this one little watering hole. Yeah, I mean, the nice part is they, they do still want to um, be with their buddies, they're they're coming to the same spot each day once or twice so we just so we've been changing our strategies um today we had a group of cattle that were down at the bottom and um we're supplementing them with hay as well cuz uh right now they're just kind of holding over on Shane's Mountain until we rope and brand next week so we kind of fed up in that area and then we brought a bunch of cattle up to them they were at the gate and um, we we had people staged through a, a different gate farther up above them if they were to run up because these ones like to run up rather than down <laughs> if they run. <laughs> and um, we had that. Jen and I brought cattle to them. We had cattle. Um, we I actually i ended up taking three head there we left most of them kind of along the fence as a draw if they went down and then i took uh three of them jen kind of watched the gate i took three into the state section three quiet happy little guys just like moving along puppy dogs <laughs> yeah they were great just walking up the road and we got around a bend and the the three wild ones saw the cattle <laughs> And I thought, it's perfect. They're they're going to want to join their buddies. And they just hightailed it out of there. They said, <laughs> we don't want no part of cattle, horses, nothing. So so I've got another plan. And I'll let you guys know if it, how it works out. <laughs> um, it's kind of sneaky, but we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted on that one. But um, the weather has really turned... It's been just rainy and cold, and now we got temps in the 80s. It's going to be like 85 yeah. tomorrow. It's like 85 today, yesterday. Um, Maybe going to throw in a lake day in there, do some yeah, kayaking. Yeah, we, we might do a really early lake day this week. Um, we have some people that want to do that. We'll probably bust out the laser tag guns. Heck yeah. Do that. Um but lots of cattle work, lots of checking on cattle, lots of riding out. We're like just super stoked for this weather. It's yeah. so rejuvenating. It rejuvenated all the bugs too. Oh my goodness, the mosquitoes, especially when you get down near those creeks and on on the pieces near the water tanks. It's just but a the swarm. nice part is we've had like a kind of a nice little breeze in the afternoon. That's true. So that that's been really nice. And we're going to start, I think, gathering and pulling them off of Shane's mountain and starting to put them in a catch pen just for a few days. Um, so that way they're all ready to go and accessible when we roll right into branding after this guest week. Yeah, literally the day our guests leave, our branding crew drives in. So we're we're going full speed. Um, so yeah, we'll probably be practicing quite a bit of roping this week too. Maybe bring out handed yeah. So that's, and then all this week, um, it was, the crew was shooing. At one point, uh, Sammy actually kept a tally of her horses <laughs> this week. 
and uh and I should say week it was four days yeah so not not quite but so just Sammy alone she said she did uh 23 horses 92 shoes and 552 nails in four days that's, that's a lot of nails that's pretty wild and, she's awesome and these other guys were just right up there with her too so ponies are good to go that's awesome Shane and I spent a lot of time this week just driving through cattle, hunting cattle. <laughs> um, CJ and Dylan kind of went to work on their fence because these cattle, they just, if there's a high spot or low spot, they're like, we're gone. But now I th we're good now. They're respectful of the fence. But yeah. last week we had some learning curve, <laughs> some learning curve. And I did a lot of hiking in areas that you yeah. could not get to horseback but yeah. we got him in and uh our dog cha-cha she she actually did a really good job with the cattle she doesn't have a lot of experience but she's she's got a really nice feel and a good handle on her so she was able to do some stellar work helping me out because i can only go so fast <laughs> when i'm running uphill so and we kind of got to end our week a little bit before guests arriving last night all over the ranch, um, pretty close to midnight. Yeah, um, from 11 to midnight. Yeah, and you could see it no matter where you were at, what side of the ranch you're on, um, the Aurora Borealis. Yeah, we, we've got, Brenda took some really cool videos, and it's her birthday today, so that was like her early her early birthday present. Early present. And just beautiful greens and magentas, and it was just a real, a real gift, that is for sure. Absolutely incredible. So we're going to keep this one a little bit short and sweet because we actually have orientation <laughs> in 13 minutes. <laughs> On so, the go. Yep. So we'll talk to you guys next week and uh, have a very happy Mother's Day yes. to all of our human moms, moms of fur babies, all of the good stuff. Pony moms, all of them. All of it. So take care, you guys. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. <laughs>